Hi, today I am here to give you a small presentation on how to make a billion dollar app like a WhatsApp. You know, what are the great ingredients the app has to make it billion dollar? So let's talk about the app. So you have seen a lot of messenger apps, right? But the recent deal of the WhatsApp of worth 19 billion dollars is one of the biggest deal of its kind, right? So we at Nimap Infotech have tried to give you the recipe of making such app. So myself Priyank Rahanka, uh, from the Nimap Infotech will be giving you a small demo on creating app like WhatsApp. So basically creating a mobile app is not at all tough. So we'll see how to create a first screen of friend list in merely two minutes. Okay. Yes. Within two minutes, you will be able to create the friend list of the WhatsApp. So you go to Xcode, say create new project, select the template, say WhatsApp allies. We just give a dummy name, say next and say create. So you created the, there's a blank screen, we'll see. So we want some images on the app. So we'll say add some files, image files. So I go here. I'm adding the icons, some icon files. Say I add around 10 icons. Okay. Now I come here. I drag a table view controller which gives me a list of the cell. So I create one. Out here we have the icon of the person so I drag the image view because image view is something which shows you the so you can increase the height if you wish to and then you can reduce the height say 62 by 62 and you place it you can give the first image okay you need UI label to display the name so I'm using a dummy images please I give my name I want to make it bold so there is an option called bold oh wow then I create one more label say last scene I know most of the people hate last scene thing say now I make it the color say light gray so wow my one screen is ready what I do I copy this entire tree structure I keep on pasting five six seven eight how much you want okay now I change the icons first yeah. okay then I change the name I say mark last scene so whatever April so I say yesterday April is typing you know, dot 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 thing I say I say last scene Tuesday
Sunday and then say Okay, now I've created this. Now you want to run an app, right? So you just click this arrow and keep it here. And I say my content is static. So I create it. You just play the run button. And see the output. So So it's running. See, it's so simple. Within less than two minutes, you are able to create the entire fun screen. Wow. Now you want a title, navigation title. So you go to editor, you say embed in navigation controller. Automatically a title will come on your screen and you can say friends. Friend list. Wow, so now suppose you say you want to change this image, you can say okay, label, you can change to whatever label you want. Okay, save. Oops, sorry, run. Ah, wow, entire application is running flawlessly. Now, making the app should not be your agenda. You have to make an app which makes you billionaire, should be your agenda. Now, in order to make your app a sellable product, if you see Google, Apple, all the big companies like Facebook, Twitter, anyone, the main agenda is a collection of data, collecting the user data in bulk, not in GBs, it's millions of terabytes, okay. So how to make the app is should be your intention, not on the solution, but the ingredients of the app. The app today, the entire IT, the, the word which we use as a buzz is called Smack. Smack represents social mobile analytics cloud okay these are the four pillars on which your solution should be created so that it helps your business to grow and expand exponentially now as per the study how smack helps it's like it's you have worked on all the different platforms you might find some people working on social some on mobile analytics cloud but a product which combines all those four pillars only has a potential to become a billionaire. So if you see any big company, IT company, it's based on these four pillars. Okay. Now how it works? It works basically your mobile app becomes the access point. Today if you see the mobile the users have changed their dimension from the desktop, from the laptops to the mobile phones or the tablets. You see, all your solution should be on that particular devices, set of devices. If I see anyone, when you are awake, there will be hardly a time when you will be away from your mobile devices. So if you want to create a solution, the best platform to create a solution in today's era is mobile. So you have to create iPhone app and the Android app for your solution. Your intention should be collecting the user data. It's a data which sells in this era. Okay. Now this data is delivered where? It's delivered in a rack of servers which are connected as a cloud. So that the data is available on any device in future which comes. So data is always there. And this we are talking about huge, huge data. Then, you know, you have heard of a concept of catalyst to it's a process through which you get massive data and today the behavior of the user is social they like to go on social media and 
your app should be very well connected to the social media because depending upon the behavior of the user your data becomes more and more valuable people these days discuss about the product and everything on the social media so your app when you create should be connected or i would say a solution which you create should be connected to the social element you need to know the behavior people people like today getting social and then when you have hell amount of data collected you need to know the information the context of the information you know because now you have the content which is a sellable the solution should be designed in a such a way that it collects the valuable information and then you have to create analytics to slice your information in such a way that it gives you the analysis about how to grow business so we have seen the era of it growing you know initially it was mainframe then came microcomputers then came distributed internet pc and now it's a era of smack the data which is collected in last 18 months is so huge that if you say the data from the start of the digital world till the end of 2012 the amount of data collected is not at all huge as compared to data just collected in last 18 months so you can imagine people are liking to get connected to each other they are changing their dimension about the product and the relationship okay so it's been to it's been analyzed by 2020 as many as 100 billion computing devices will be connected to the web and all your corporation all over the world will be managing data 50 times more than the current flow so with smack always have a multiplying effect on your business and it gives real time and a productive results so if you creating anything it should be basically based on smack now mobile app development you should analyze you have to do a research make a plan deploy it and maintain but this entire mobile process should have a horizontal of smack what is the purpose of your app the main purpose of your app always should be collecting the data and storing in a secure way and processing to give the analysis to your organization you see lot of corporates these days are using conventional way they are just making their website as an app to say to maintain a status symbol they are not utilizing the app to create an engine to collect the user feedback information so that they can use that information in a near future to create billion of dollars now even when they want to offer the mobile apps they will offer mobile website so they they say it is easier to maintain the cost is less but the front end of a solution is a face of your company and when we did research online and got some of the result it was shocking we told users mobile app users what they look at as a perspective of the user in a mobile app rather than on the website they say mobile apps are more convenient they are more faster they give me easy to browse effect they have better user experience easier to check my account easier to shop everything if you see all those things are related to only one golden rule called user experience so if you see native apps a more user experience and for that what your end user needs it so when you see a benefit of the mobile apps versus the mobile website you will find 85% of your time your business will get much better benefits by making a mobile app rather than making a mobile website as an app so you need to concentrate on making a mobile solution which are native you see facebook start with hybrid why they move to the native solution cuter because they have understood the users 
needs a better user experience and that can be only possible using the mobile apps rather than just making the hybrid mobile website app. Now when you get social act as a catalyst I told you, now, nowadays you have to create an awareness about your product. You should reach to the user not in a conventional way like old days the marketers used to show you what they want. Now user say what they want. You should be having a solution which connects to the user internally and try to get the information as much as possible. So resulting into the big data. Now social you define your strategies then you can create your digital marketing component with search engine optimization, marketing and everything. You keep on analyzing and once it comes you try to exploit the social media marketing component like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn to get user more engaged in your project, in your solution and then when it comes to analysis you have caught your data. Now your valuable thing is there. You start processing that data using a technology called Hadoop which is one of the most emerging technology these days which is an open source, it's faster. Create data analysis creating charts on that solution and then giving you analysis not only the, this is what data you know your collected data says this but to give you predictive analysis now when you say predictive analysis your it gives you a better direction where you have to take your solution you know is it need to be done this way a plan or i have to shift to the plan b where should i invest more so when you see the business intelligence might give you a quantifiable return on interest investment by 80% but when you do predictive analysis on your data you get around 250% of quantified ROI and that's a really a big amount and that's how you can become a billionaire. So if you create a solution you have to make sure you know the prediction of the solution of your data should be so beautiful that and so accurate that it generates money. You can do predictive analysis in sales and marketing, customer relationship where your app selling organization, operations, workforce, finance, wigs and obviously cloud is always a backbone for this because your data is set up on the cloud and so that it can be accessible from anywhere with new mobile technologies and everything. So you can keep on creating solutions but it gives you a better output in terms of business. So do not think as a conventional uh, business solutions because if you just thinking conventional you are not able will be able to expand your business in terms of smack. So try to use smack solutions in your or smack methodology I would say in your app so that you get maximum out of your ideas and your organization which makes solution to satisfy their customers can get a valuable information from their customers regarding their behavior and how they want these things in a proper way how they are socializing it and that data you can analyze and do a prediction for your future investments which creates your more and more money. So I would say Overall, it's a smack era of infra so it should be a smack infrastructure all in in your solution. So we at Nimap Infotech provide you entire smack solution from creating the mobile app till analyzing your mobile data, which is very huge. So you have to concentrate on creating the application which can capture huge, huge data for your organization and which results into a good predictive analysis to create a good return on investment. Thank you. You can watch this video on the YouTube on our channel. Thank you.